Yeah. So well, uh, I haven't been around for a good bit. Yeah. Well, what's well before we begin, you know, I'll, I'll do my intro and then we'll uh, get right into the spiciness, you know. Anyway. Sounds good. <clears throat> Make sure these camera angles are working. All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my talk show. I'm your host, Simon Rebel. This is my talk show, Late Night of Rebel. And today we are here with our special guest here, the one and only, someone frisky. So how you been doing, man? Like, it's been, it's been a while, like I said. Uh, I've been good. I've been good. How have you been? I'm doing pretty good, man. You know, I, I like to say... Um, as a as an individual, you know, I've I've done a lot of different things. Now I do a talk show and stuff like that, and it's really cool, really awesome. And um, here, yeah. that's that's what we're doing today. We're doing a talk show. We're interviewing you, and we're gonna figure out what's been going on. So obviously, you've been playing VR chat for a long time, not so much anymore, and that's okay. But um, you know, you've been known for you know making never have a ever. That's a long time ago. Oh yeah. So tell me about that was it. a uh, that's a fun one. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, I wanted to drink in virtual reality. Okay. Uh, so I started drinking, and then I made that map so I could play a game with friends because this game was kind of bare back then. There wasn't much content or game, you know, game worlds. Mm -hmm. And the ones that were out were pretty simple, like Werewolf and everything. So, you know, just I took with a bunch of friends, and I used to play back in Gary's Mod, and, you know, just threw lines down in a map. I'm going to be honest. It took about, like, less than two hours. It was, it's, it's an overhyped world. <laughs> okay i mean i believe it i mean <laughs> i i believe that you probably only spent two hours on it you know i totally only spent two hours in this world jk this is more like months and months of uh <laughs> of shit you know but um yeah anyway so well you, you said you wanted to drink and did you ever expect like for, or for like the world to end up on the way it is now like with all the people playing it and all the stories and all these people using it and going crazy and going wild and all that shit uh no not really the world was pretty unoptimized when i released it it was just kind of meant for private use and then i don't know everyone just kind of liked it and kept using it okay i get you it's optimized now i want to clarify it. it it is it is better now okay that's good kind of so Tell me, how did you how did you end up getting into VR chat initially, like the like the very start, like the like the very beginning, like the first thing that got you into VR chat? Uh, virtual reality itself. I didn't know what VR chat was. I just got it to play Robo Recall. Really? And oh, then, yeah. The Oculus game. VR chat because it was a VR game. Yeah. Robo Recall, good. That shit, good. Okay. And then you just hopped on, and you're just like, what what, the, what, what the fuck is this? Like, what's going on here? Why is there anime people? Like, well, what's going on? Oh, no, I didn't see anime people. When I started playing, that was more over, I guess, the start of, the, like, I don't know. I think it was December when Knuckles okay. started to get populated. Yeah. And, I, and there was just Knuckles everywhere. Knuckles. Knuckles. I mm -hmm. just hear it echoing in my head. It just goes... I can't yes. escape it. Shows up in my dreams sometimes. It's a really, it's a really bad problem. Really? Do you think? Uh, yes. a, do you think a knuckles is a is a, you know, an SCP? Oh God. Uh, I think the knuckles definitely deserve to be classified as an SCP. That is a fact. Okay. That is a fact. So let's we'll, we'll change subjects from VR chat to the SCP because obviously I think you're more well known for uh, being a part of, of the SCP community. So how did you find out about SCP initially, like SCP Containment Breach, the single player um, version? My buddy Jakey, um, I know there's a Jakey in the VR community, not yes. that one. I had a different friend, Jakey, who told me one day, he was like, hey, come play this with me. Hey, come play this with me. And I ignored him for about two weeks until I broke and did it. And then I just was like, oh, this game's kind of fun. I'm going to make a video. And then the YouTube liked it, so I kept making videos. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, it's fun. It's definitely fun. It's hard to get, like, a game together with friends because it does require a large amount of people to play. But, yeah, it's, it's fun. I mean, I, I, well, I was playing it, like, last week with all the new updates, and, like, I, I, it wasn't th that hard. I just, like, literally just joined a random server. Unless you mean, like, with friends, but I mean, like, random people. Oh, yeah. It was, it was fun. Friends. Yeah, yeah. Friends is better because then, you know, I can role play and, like, you know, act out characters and be silly and be stupid. Yeah. So, so basically your friend Jake, he got you into into Secret Laboratory and then he started playing and everything. 
So how did you end up going from that to like you started making videos, but like did you ever expect to like have like the big blow up and have like you know like now like a huge community behind you and now you're part of like the development team for Secret Laboratory? And stuff like that. Uh, I'm actually not a part of the development team anymore. That that stopped a few months ago. Oh shit! But oh they, man. <laughs> the development team they they still are. They're all good people. I love them. I hope that their work like continues pushing through and like their dream comes true for the game. Okay. That but sounds that sounds like a P, yeah, that sounds like a PR answer to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a PR answer. I genuinely like them. I can name okay. the two that I love right now: BMO and Vest. They worked really hard on the zero nine six update. Vess is the art director. Bless Vess. I love Vess. He is such a nice guy. And then so is BMO. I love them both. They're very hard workers, and I'm really glad that the 096 update was actually pretty fucking good. Okay. It makes I the game so. so much more scarier. I love it. I get, Yeah, I played it. I I was I was scared, man. Like, I was just like, you know, in the, what's it called, the 914, and I was just doing some cards, you know, and then, like, out of nowhere, you fucking bust through the fucking door. I was like, holy shit. That scared me. I didn't expect him to be able to open the blast doors and be like, hey, what's going on, guys? So, that was scary. That was oh, scary. Yeah. And also hiding behind doors. Like, he could, like, hold his breath and then, like, you know, that was spooks. Those are my favorite features. It just makes it so much better to scare people with and just, you know, toy with them. It's fun. Do you think any of the other characters should be reworked? Like, uh, Peanut? Uh, yeah, peanut doesn't really taste like peanut butter. When I lick it, moreover, it just tastes like my microphone, and I'm not sure how to feel yeah, about that. But same. Uh, yeah, I think he, he could definitely use a little bit of a rework. But that could go for a, a good chunk of them that just feel a little bit more vanilla compared because 096 really does step it up. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I think um, I think he's obviously... Before, he was kind of like easy to like deal with. He was like, oh, I'm just going to stare at the ground. See you later, dude. <laughs> just run away. Now that doesn't work yeah. anymore. So... Nope, it doesn't. So, yeah, I feel like I feel like Peanut definitely. I think it should get the most big nerf, and then that, like I don't know, in my opinion, because I feel like I don't know, like, maybe, do you think they should actually have like a blinking system, where like it's just like the Stanima system where you actually have to blink all the time? But then again, like maybe what, what if like five players just like simultaneously blink? You know what I mean? They just keep staring at them, and Peanut literally can't move. <laughs> you know. Well, how they have it set up now, the blinks are all synchronized for everyone, that if you're within the vicinity of it, it'll start blinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Otherwise, yeah. it won't blink, but the problem with that is that the blinking will always alert when he's near, though. Yeah, that's that's the de dead giveaway, because the music also changes, too, and then you can be like, oh, oh shit, yeah. it's just like, oh, well, <laughs> someone's around here. And, and the funny thing is that, like, I recently, uh, I played by myself, didn't stream or anything, but, like... I, I literally hid like three quarters of the round as a D-boy and had no cards, no nothing. I literally just sat in like this corner and like everybody's just dying around me and just getting ripped apart and like the SCPs kept running past me because I was hiding in this like little nook and I eventually escaped and everyone in the spectrum was like, oh my god, dude, how did you escape, bro? What the hell, bro? It's like, I just hid. Like, I just was smart. Like, I'm not going to like rush around and scream like a kid, you know? Strategy. Exactly. Survival of the fittest. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole point. Everyone is a tool that can be used for your own escape. Of your course, life man. matters most. Yeah. So, what was it like being on the development team? Uh, it was pretty fun. I, it, was, it was cool seeing how everything worked behind the scenes and working with people. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say the, the workflow definitely does need a little bit more work on the development team, but I, I know that they are working on that and getting their stuff sorted out. So they can like you know push updates faster in the future. Hopefully, I haven't, I haven't spoken to them for a good bit since I've been off on like a break. Okay. But I know that they're like they're definitely still working hard. How do you um? So obviously, SCP Secret Laboratory and Containment Breach are like you know desktop uh, mouse and keyboard, but um, there is yeah. like a version that is in VR called I think like Blackout or something like that. Have you ever played oh, yeah, it? Yeah, Blackout. I, I... I've checked out Blackout when it was initially released. I think it was, I don't know if it's early access right now or if it was beta. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was when it launched in early access, but the game was too unoptimized for me to do anything with it. I tried to play with the recording software running, it wouldn't function, and then I just turned it off and I was still having issues. And when you have like, you know, the graphics card, like having a 2080 and like a Ryzen chip, I feel like those aren't issues you should be having. Yeah, I get, you. I get what you're saying. Like, there's definitely some, like, unoptimized stuff going off that in other VR games and indie titles and stuff. 
I mean, like, VR chat. It's been a while <laughs> since I checked it, so that could be fixed. I, I haven't played it for a few months. I haven't checked it out yet. Yeah, yeah. Again. I get you're saying. What do you think about... So, I don't know how... Like, have you dabbled into, like, Udon or, like, VR, VR chat recently, if anything, at all? No, yeah, I still play in Unity, 100%. I still have stuff going. I still make levels, and I have maps. It's just, I don't publish any of them, really, anymore. I, okay. I do plan on uploading them again soon and, like, actually pushing them out. But I, I did fiddle with Udon a bit. I can't remember who I uh, bought it off of, but it was on Booth. It was, like, a third-person camera control for a desktop, and I started messing with that through Udon. Okay. And I really like how that's set up because that just gives desktop users third person. It's, like, another tool that we can use for utility. Like, it has a free cam and everything. Which is like, it also has a half-life zoom. It was pretty nice. Ooh. But I, I, I haven't fiddled too hardcore in depth because when it was released, setting up a full mirror button or a teleport was god awful. I couldn't figure it out. There was no tutorials. It was as if the, like, it, it definitely felt like it was released prematurely. There, there was no way that it was ready to be released when it was. Yeah, I, I feel you on that with that, like of, of um some of the features and stuff like that. Um. Recently, there has actually been a SCP world that's being developed with Udon, where it actually has blinking and stanima and all this stuff. Uh, just recently, I think it's like an early access. So I always thought about like, what if like Secret Laboratory had a version of it where it was in VR and they like you know had like a VR chat edition or like is you know like a multiplayer VR SCP game. I think they would really like push it forward i think that'd be really cool i think that would like make the game like ten thousand times more scary honestly well it's definitely i i think myself i think is possible i know that there's going to be there's like a lot of development uh, that would need to be redone because it is a desktop game and would have to be retailored towards uh, vr but it, it does run off unity so i think it's entirely possible still though yeah I, I agree on that. I, I do feel that it's possible. I think VR chat might be able to do it. We'll have to see. I don't know. I just think you know, like for example, another like really good game would be like um, Dead by Daylight in VR. Like having uh, everybody in VR, like the killer in VR, and four survivors running around in VR, and having to fix generators and stuff. I think that'll be another uh, very uh, scary experience. That would put me on edge. Anything VR is it's just it's. I love it, but it scares me at the same time. Oh, you tried, uh... The adrenaline's nice. You tried, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's VR? <laughs> she said Five Nights... That's a thing? Yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's VR, yeah. Help Wanted. It's out. Huh. Why, you want to play right now? Is that, like, the seventh game in the series? Yeah. They bit No, like, okay, when you, when you buy it, it literally is all the games. <laughs> but in VR, <laughs> and it, well, it does have come up. Uh, it comes. Uh, it comes with um, some VR exclusive stuff though, like like uh, like a game mode that's only for VR, the VR like edition. So like one of them is you have to follow steps. They'll say like take out like you're basically repairing like a Fazbear, whatever whatever the hell they're called, animatronics, and like you have to follow instructions. They'll say like take out the left eye, and it says his left. So then you take out the right, and it fucking jump scares you. So you have to like follow instructions. You have to pay attention, and like unscrew this. It's That's like horrifying. Oh yeah, I shit myself. So jump scares in VR are not nice. Do not like them. Oh, okay. Speaking of Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, do you guys, do you know who, uh, Official Seon is? He made the Huggies Dungeon. No the Huggies Dungeon uh, oh, series. Oh, wait, Huggies Dungeon. Yeah, I know the Huggies. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know those, yeah. So, nice. I like those uh, I interviewed him, but anyway, I guess I can say this now, officially, because he announced it. But basically, uh, when, it, when I, after I interviewed him to talk about the Huggies Dungeon, he showed me a world, and I was told, you know, I can't speak about it until it's public now he just made an earlier tweet he literally is working on five nights at freddy's in vr chat exactly oh that'll be interesting so yeah so if you played his some more recent maps one of his recent worlds i think had um the five nights at freddy's like as a segment of like, the horror experience like a, just for an hour or something not like not like a full game just like a test run so yeah you should play it, man. I'm sure yeah, you'll... I'll definitely uh, check it out when it comes out. I like anything that's, like, VR chat related. If it's, like, Udon worlds, all the game worlds. I, I like all the stuff. It's, like, very innovative for the game, and I think it's what definitely is needed to push it in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. 
I get what you're saying. So, um, obviously, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll switch it back up. We'll, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, SCP Secret Laboratory. So, obviously, you know, you've been playing, making videos about that. Do you ever think about, like, um, the other versions of it? Like, uh, well, like, uh, people have, made, like, remade it in Unity, like a 2020 version or anything like that. Ever tried any of those versions? Uh, are you talking SCP itself? Because uh, Secret Lab is its own game. It's the multiplayer experience. Yeah, well, okay. Either. I meant I meant um like the okay the the original game was the single player one. It called Containment Breach. That's like the original yeah. like ten year old version. And then someone remade it recently, again, like in like oh, t yeah. today's like graphics or what do you want to call it like today's yeah, the Unity Containment Breach yeah. version. Yeah, I, I have checked that out because that one I know is still in development, but. I, I do like what they're doing. I like it in Unity more than I do like the original because I do think it needs to be updated to a better engine. Because mm -hmm. it is nice still, the original Containment Breach, but it could be better. Yeah, I agree. I do think that um, it, it, it's it, it's like when you play it nowadays, it's kind of just like so outdated and it's just like broken, like how some of the animations look really weird and just like old fashioned. So it's almost like playing like Amnesia, you know, like that game's like old as hell, you know, it's just like outdated stuff. Anyway, so we'll ask you uh, about SCPs. Do you, do you have any uh, like SCPs? Have you ever looked into the wiki page and like looked at all the different SCPs and all the different characters and stuff like that? Uh, I've, I've poked around it. I typically stick to the ones that are more around the main lore. Uh, while it is all part of the lore, I, I stick to what's involved in the games. But uh, there was one that's outside of it that I did like. There was a, I think it was four two two two. But I'm not sure if that was the right numbers. It was it was around Christmas. It's like a. Uh, what's it called? I can't remember it. I I can't remember. It was like a German folklore. Pretty much, if you were bad, instead of Santa coming to your house, he would come to your house. And what this one this guy would do, he's like an evil Santa. He would snatch you. You take the kid, throw him in a bag, and then drag him down to the or drag them up to the North Pole, throw them in a cave, and then be, they would be forced to sew and make toys out of other children's dead bodies. What the fuck? Yeah, it's pretty cheeky. Hmm. Pretty quirky. Yeah, kind of quirky, dude. Kind of kind of weird. Just so you know. But I get you. Okay, okay. For me, um, I don't know. Like, I, I've only, like, looked at it, like, briefly, but there's definitely some interesting, weird characters and... Stuff like that. Isn't there, like, one where, like, it's, like, a monkey or something, and, like, it sings happy birthday, and if you don't, then you die or something? <laughs> or, like, you, uh... I have no idea about that there, one. It's in, like, the <laughs> Unity version. I don't know. I saw Markiplier playing. He was explaining it or something. It was, like, some, like, doll or something, and then, like, it sings happy birthday, and the lore is, like, if you don't sing happy birthday back, then you lose, like, a year of your life or something. I was like... Oh, Dang. Shit. Like, That's what, rough. what the fuck? I was like, dude. I don't know how people come up with these SCPs, man. Like, do you think people, like, smoke a doobie beforehand or what's going on? <laughs> they're just like, their wild imagination, you know, runs amok. I say that there are definitely drugs and alcohol involved in anyone that writes one of those articles and that they definitely do have some issues. <laughs> Because they are, they are, they are pretty good overall. I love them. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're like very accurate. Like all of them link together perfectly. It, it, they they are a good read. Mm. I get you. Um, so let me let me think about this. Have you uh have ever like what, what's a dream SCP? Like what's have you ever thought about making your own SCPs or anything like that? Any any stories? Anything like man? I oh, oh man, I want to make my own. You know. Your thought about that? Uh, no, not really. I do have an interest in film and horror as a whole, but I'd rather pursue that on my own and not be a part of the SCP universe. Okay. So, we'll, we'll bring it back to VR chat. So you talked about making worlds and stuff like that, and you mostly just did it for fun and your friends. Um, and you said like you're just doing things, I guess, for fun and just messing with like Udon and the third party. Thing, but have you ever had like a big scale thing that you wanted to build like an actual like planned out project or is it just mostly like you said just for fun 
Uh, I've gone through multiple large-scale projects. I uh -huh. had a sci-fi city that I was trying to build, but with that being on the older Unity version, that was about a year ago. I couldn't like I couldn't do what I needed yet. I, I wouldn't be able to make it like a nice optimized world. There would always be frame rate issues. It would aesthetically look nice, but it wouldn't perform well. Uh, and then uh, like I have multiple city projects that I've tried to take under, but it, it's all been pretty much just waiting for a better Unity update. I gotcha. Uh, I've worked on other ones before. I did some mapping for his stealth for a bit for the Ascension Academy stuff. I did yeah. their library. And that that was pretty nice. I like making pretty things. I like making very fantasy, like uh, anything fantasy esque. I prefer it that way. Oh, maybe you should talk to Arcadum and, and help with Cal Sorrel if you know what that is. I unfortunately don't have the time to, to undertake another like project like that anymore, unless it's okay. pertaining towards like my content itself. I get you. So, my next question, I guess, I guess I would say is like, um, how do you uh like you've been to conventions, right? You've been to like TwitchCon and stuff like that. Yeah. So, how was your experience of like TwitchCon like last year? Like, what, did you like meet up with, like other people from VR Chat, or did you stick with like YouTubers? Like, what what did you do? I hosted the VR Chat meetup. Oh shit! Well, there you go. <laughs> I didn't go. Yeah, it was it was like I think the admins this year. Uh, it was CC Low and uh, I'd have to pull up the Discord to double check who the admins were, but and I know Karita was on that. Yeah, it was CC Karita and Lowren and I for the admins for the meetup. It was uh it was fun. I had a good time. There was a lot of people. It was definitely a very large turnout. Okay. How, like, uh, can you, can you tell me some stories from, like, that meetup? Like, anything funny? Did you guys meet up, get drunk? Like, what, what happened? Well, I'm a marijuana connoisseur, so I showed up high, obviously, with sunglasses on so no one would tell. And, and then, uh... <laughs> okay. And people just slowly came in. I showed up early. It was pretty hot out. If I would have known it was that hot, I definitely would have brought, like, a fuck ton of, like, water bottles and stuff for people to drink. <laughs> Uh, but luckily vendors eventually came over because they saw our large crowd. It was it was very large. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a lot of people. Uh, it was pretty much just running around greeting everyone, you know, just screaming their names, giving a hug, and then running on to the next. Okay. Anyone recognize you and be like, oh my god, it's that guy that made the, the world. Or whatever. It's the only thing people recognize me from at that meetup. I'm gonna be honest. Whoa, shit! I mean, I, I mean, shit, dude. I'm gonna be honest, I've gotten comments like, "Oh man, you thanks to you, man, I started drinking and like, I was like, oh wait, don't say it like that, please, stop. I feel guilty now. You know, I don't want to be the reason why you drink. <laughs> I mean, it ain't like that. It, it's not I your fault, drinking. dude. I quit drinking about a year and a half ago. Hey, amen, brother. Let's I'll give you some clappers. You may not be here, but hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Yes. Cell five. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Listen, man, it's okay to smoke the toke. You know. Oh yeah. Sometimes your greatest ideas come from you know having a little fun. It definitely helps the creative flow, but also I don't recommend underage use. Of course. Yeah, of course. I mean, doesn't Snoop Dogg like smoke every day or something? I, mean, <laughs> I love like... Snoop Dogg. Bless Snoop Dogg. I get you. Anyway, so basically the meetup was, was pretty good. Did you go to, well, you, okay. You went to, you organized it for last year or the 2018s? Uh, both. Okay. How did, how was uh... the year before was yeah. Emmy and I did that one. Okay. And how did that go? Uh, that one was a little bit smaller, but I, I'm going to be honest, I did like that one more because it, with it being smaller, we were able to actually interact with everyone. The devs came out, they passed around some t-shirts for free, and then like, oh, we had, like a, a, I grabbed the sign with VRChat 2018 on it and had everyone go around signing it. That's worth millions of dollars now, dude. It, yeah. has, it has memories on it. It's definitely a memory sign. Like I, I still have that. It's in our living room. Proud of it. There's good memories in that. Okay. You said our living room. Does that mean you're living with somebody else? Yeah, I, I live with uh, I live with Harley right now. Okay. And I don't know how what the other roommates' policies are on saying who we live with, so I don't I don't, I don't want to oh, say. Oh, okay. All right. 
I know Harley. He's a cool guy. I get yeah, you. Harley's one of my best friends. Nice. I know that you and Connor are good friends, too. Oh, yeah. He's still here, too. Uh-oh. I know he doesn't care about that one. Yeah, there you go. He's not a good guy. Morgan Freeman. Anyway. So, it sounds like, uh, you know, the meetups are pretty cool. Obviously, it's not going to happen this year because, you know, Twitch is canceled. <laughs> Shit. Yep, been waiting for that. Saw that one coming. Yeah, I saw that coming too, honestly. Like, I, I feel like a lot of people probably like, oh my god, it's going to happen. I'm like, dude, U.S. is like number one most infected country in the world right now. Like, do you honestly think they're going to let 100,000 people or whatever, how many show up to TwitchCon to actually go there? Like, come on, dude. It's like a breeding ground for more cases, more infections. So. It definitely is. But uh, instead, I don't know if you heard, but there's actually going to be a VR con instead. You know anything about that? What's a VR con? <laughs> What's VR con? Basically, it's run by, uh, I think, Fizzy and Nodori and a bunch of other streamers and from the VR chat community. But pretty much they're building, like, their own sort of like VR or not sorry they're they're building their own like Twitch con but in like VR chat basically huh interesting it's, it's going to happen at the end of this year how the fuck are you going to do that when everyone's avatars ratings are very poor they're going to enforce it so you have a good avatar you're going to get your ass beat oh oh are you sure about that <laughs> i don't think it'll work that well, well there's definitely going to be uh, performance issues because when it comes to conventions, people prefer large-scale events, and I definitely still see lag when there's, like, 30 people in a lobby here. Hey, man, I go to Neko Nights, there's, like, 70 people in that lobby, and I don't like. Just get good. You don't like. Are you sure? I, okay, I well, like, okay, dude, dude I like. Most, like uh, okay, dude, I like, but I get, like, 30 FPS of 60 people. When I when it was dude, New Year's, so bad for me. listen, dude, when I... When, when it was New Year's, the New Year's map, I had 72 people in my lobby, and it was a Friends Plus. And I had only, like, 28 frames, like, 30, just to, like just around there. Dude, like, 70 people in a lobby is mental, but, like, I was actually surviving. So it's possible. You just, you know, you just got to get a good computer and have everyone have a decent avatar, you know? You can have 80 people in a lobby in VR chat. It's 100% possible. It's just everyone has a poopy avatar because no one cares to care about you know i definitely agree that like if people had av like optimized avatars it'd definitely be possible but it's just enforcing it i did want to look at a way with udon to see if there was a way to like check avatar ratings and if they had very poor just straight up disallow it for the world as a whole so that way if you show up you show you know the gray yellow and black yeah, yeah, avatar yeah, yeah. when there's errors they would just like push them onto that avatar instead and they'd be forced to swap to a better avatar but i i don't i haven't looked at udon that much to actually poke at it yet well, that's even possible. technically, you know, VR chat has your own experience, so basically you could just block everyone who has a very poor, or even a, yeah, very poor and a poor avatar, so you can just make it so you can only see medium plus avatars, you'll never lag, and you can also limit damage bones and turn them off too. So basically, yeah, you could just never... Yeah, behind that is, okay. my map, my rules kind of aspect, where I just don't want them on there. Okay. Like, you know, like, you should take Never Have I Ever, for example. That yeah. map is bare minimum, and I still get lag on there because of people's avatars whenever I, sh like, go in there showing everything. And it, it's ridiculous. It's, you're not, I don't, I don't want to deal with that. You're, you're not wrong. There's definitely uh, times where I've, I've hosted parties of, like, 30 people. No lag. One person joins, I literally f drop, like, 30 frames. I'm like, holy shit. And I look at their avatar. Yeah, it's, it's more over. And it's dark dying. Yes, it's what? It's, like, what? Very poor. <laughs> This I was it's more of I just want like a way to make it so everyone can see each other. Mm. Cause like the the old uh, avatar uh, limitations, like you remember when it was like what twenty polys or whatever for an avatar? Like they it was a pain to get it's like around. 40K but, like forty k or something, yeah. The frames were still pretty decent back then. I'm gonna be honest, they're probably better than they are now. <laughs> yeah, cause there's no limit now. Now they're just like, oh, you got like a million polys. I guess it's still allowed. Like there's you know there's no Harvey restrictions now. Like yeah, I, it would just be nice to see a way for map creators just to decide restrictions. Yeah, but then people are gonna complain. Oh my god, my million poly avatar is not allowed in the game. How dare you tell me what I can and can't do? I'm gonna cancel well, you, Frisky. You told me I can't have my very poor <laughs> avatar with a million damage bones. I gotta have my arms jiggle, okay, and my feet jiggle, okay, because I'm immersed. Do you understand? Okay, 
I got full body. <laughs> I, like I got the haptic suit, bro. I got listen, bro. Next level. As you're saying. My map, my rules. <laughs> okay. I mean, I could. I, I would love to just to hit the kick button on people, but you know how that goes. I wish I could ban people instead. Go. What do you mean? Yeah, it'd be nice to ban people too. It'd be nice to have any kind of administrative function over the map again. Yeah. All right, let's go play Neil's VR where you can actually do that. <laughs> you ever played I haven't any? Looked at that yet? Have you checked it? Yeah, I've checked it. I play with the devs. Oh, are they nice people? Yeah, they're very nice. They're very responsive. Um, they're they're always playing like the every Unreal day. Unreal Engine, right? Yeah, I, 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 well, no, I, I'm not too sure. I'm not a dev, so I don't know. I think it's still using Unity. It's using Unity 2019. Oh, if they're on Unity, then yeah, I definitely want to take a look. Uh, last, I thought they were the uh, Unreal Engine one because I know that there was an Unreal Engine. Uh, There's a Unreal Engine Trello version. VR. There's the other one. I know Sansar, I think, was trying Unreal as well. Unless that was no, that was the Second Life one that they were trying their own engine. That was the Doo Doo one. Okay. The Doo Doo. <laughs> I mean, there is one of them that's actually yeah, it canceled. Like, it looked like. <laughs> It just straight up was like crappy, like three modeling Play Doh style. Like they tried to go for realism and it didn't work. And then if you don't offer the anime aspect, it's like the tune's easier to follow up with VR and performance is easier. If you try to go for realism, it's going to kind of be a pain. Realism. I don't know about that, man. I, I f if you want to go realism, you play Alt Space VR, dude. That's where all the boomers play. You ever play Alt Space? No. What is that? Is it's, that just another social game? Yeah, it's <laughs> another VR social one? game, but it's. You're all you do. You can't. You can customize your avatars, but it's all like Sims, you know, builders and stuff. But everyone in the game is like oh, thirty plus to forty. They're all boomers, and they're all like lawyers and doctors. I'm not even joking. No sarcasm, and they're all like there trying to like get more clients. They're like, all right, I'm a lawyer. You need a lawyer, and they're like they'll sit there and give a presentation about why they're the best person ever. And then like if you use PlaySpace Mover, you uh you get banned by the way permanently from the game. <laughs> what? Yeah, because in that game, if you use Play Space nice Mover, RP. you can uh, you can you know go like this and go under the map, and they can't they can't kick you from the lobby because you're under the map <laughs> or flying. They they don't like that stuff because they they can't remove it. You know what I mean? Like they can't click on you. It's not like in VR chat I can still click you. You literally just yeah. become unkickable. <laughs> so they they got triggered. So they just ban people who use that add on. Yeah. So yeah, that's 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 definitely kind of weird <laughs> for them to do that. But yeah, hey, well, their game, uh, yeah. they, they can do it as they yeah. see fit. Then there's Rec Room. You ever play Rec Room? Uh, every time I get on Rec Room, I feel like I have to babysit. Yeah, true. That's the opposite of Alt Space. Alt Space is where all the boomers live. Rec Room is where all the kids are. Yeah, and they have what the policy of like. Not being below, I think they had like a 13 years old was their their age limit. When I played it before, like a few years ago, I remember I would just like I'd, I'd hear a kid, I'd just walk up and be like, "Hey, how old are you?" Instant disconnect. <laughs> Instant the FBI starts calling. Excuse me. I can guarantee you that they probably had run-ins with the mod team and have been kicked before. So. Yeah, yeah, I believe it. VRChat has an age limit. It's actually 13, too. You have to be 13 years old to be able to make an account slash email. So. Uh, I unfortunately still see violations on that. I saw one yesterday. Yeah. It was just like a little child just running around, and some guys were like, is that a voice changer? And I'm like, no, listen to them laugh. There's actually, like, that's just a straight-up child. And they're like, well, what if someone, you know, I was like, that's, it, you can't let your child run around this game unsupervised. You can't let them run around any kind of social game unsupervised. I agree but, on that, man. You know, still saw it. I, I and they were like, well, what if the parents watching the monitor? I'm like, all right, well, the monitor's not going to stop the kid from hearing something they're not supposed to hear. <laughs> exactly. I that's why I don't go to Publix anymore, man. I I've literally heard like kids playing VR chat, and then like these kids were like being exposed to like, it, 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 you know, I'll set the scenario. You go to the Void Club, you go to the back room, where all the people are by the mirror, and by the beer pong table. Oh yeah. There's like oh yeah. You hear like uh, a ten year old kid or ten year old guy or girl or you know, boy or girl and it's like, Hey, what's going on, guys? And then like you hear this like twenty year old like, Yo, what up? You wanna see something? Come to this private room with me. You know what I mean? Like you hear that shit and I'm just Oh god. I lose I, I lose faith in humanity 
every single time and i call it out i'd be like yo what the fuck are you doing like don't talk to this kid like don't be like that and they'll be like fuck you man and they just block me and then they'll continue to do it anyway and i tell the kid like block this guy like leave this game and they're like oh no no why why <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a controversial take. I do think that this game does have a problem with pedophiles. I agree. It's just like it's, there's been too many incidents with too many people. There's a list of names we can fucking go down. There's, there's just, there's a problem. <laughs> but then, like, how, how are you gonna fucking deal with it without in like, this game needs a better mod team. They need like active mods. I think this game needs to be actually just 18 plus. Not just because, like, because then you know. You have to be 18. If you're caught under 18, then you just get kicked. You just get banned, yeah? I'm sorry, but, like, yeah, I feel like... Yeah, because then have that disclaimer there yeah. so they're not held liable in the end. Yeah. I feel like on a social game... Like, it's different. If it's, like, I don't know, you're playing Call of Duty or RuneScape or some shit, I guess it's different. But, like, when you're when the whole game is a social game, you're talking to people, and someone's, like, 30 years old talking to a 14-year-old girl, like, come on. Like, it's common sense, dude. It's like, nasty. Yeah. It's gross. It's very wrong. I had too many run-ins like that, so I, I just stopped going to Publix because I, I honestly was, like, just shocked. Like, I, I just couldn't handle it anymore. I was just like, this is fucked. So. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, I, like, uh, the only way I see that getting fixed is honestly just an active moderation team. That's the only way I see mm -hmm. any of the, like, majority of these problems getting fixed is just an active moderation team. <laughs> we'll have to see. What do you think? Do you think they should have player mods? Um, with player mods comes the possibility of corruption, abuse, and everything, so they definitely need a system for log setup in which they can follow up on their players and, like, any kicks or bans that definitely go on. I've run communities before back in Gary's Mod. I ran a Star Wars RP server that I think is... I'm pretty sure they're still going to this day. Pretty sure they're still, plow, like, powering through everything. Nice. But, but, like, it, it does lead to abuse. It, do, it will lead to incidents, but I think it's better than having... You know, like, any kind of racist or pedophiles run rampant. Yeah. It sucks. It really does. Because I feel like, um, you know, I, I care about the community. I've been play I still play this game two and a half years later. You know, I know a lot of people quit and moved on, but I'm one of those people that still believe in this, you know, this platform, this game. Yeah. And um, I don't know. I feel like, you know, I, I voice these concerns to the mods and other people, and, like, people, it just falls on deaf ears. They're like, what what I've been told is basically if you have a problem with somebody in this game, just block them. And I'm like, well, that doesn't solve the issue. That doesn't remove the problem. That's just hiding it, right? Uh, if I have yeah. a problem with somebody, I'm just hiding it from my view. That's just like putting the blanket over it and be like, oh yeah, you know, the house is burning down, but you know, whatever. We'll just hide it. You know, just shove it aside. Like, no, I feel like these types of people need to be banned, and they need to be hardware banned because I want to tell you something right now. If you get banned from VR chat, no joke, you can, you can just make a new account and just resume your whole whatever you're doing like in five minutes. It's that easy. Oh yeah, no, that's yeah, it is that easy. It's it's like I I know people who have been evaded. I mean, it's who doesn't at this point. Like, I don't. Like I can guarantee you, I could go in a public world and just see someone fly within like five seconds. <laughs> True. Shit's so common nowadays. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I do feel that a lot of people ban evade and do all these things, and it just sucks. I wish, you know, there'd be a lot more uh, moderation and stuff, but uh, I guess we'll have to see. I don't know. The only way it's, like, it's either the player mods get fixed or, you know, like we we talked about this earlier, having, like, ban power on worlds. Like, that, that yeah. could help. Because, like, what if, like... What what if we have an incident with someone and it's on our world and yeah, all right, damn, if there's a if there's a ban button, we can do something about it at least and get them out of our shit. Yeah, that's I, I agree on the on the the banning and stuff like that. I, I feel like if I was able to like if I was a if I own like the Void Club or for example Never Have I Ever and I was able to ban a play you just were never allowed there ever again. Like you just couldn't join, just didn't let you. Imagine yeah, that. Yeah, it just wouldn't let you. So, like, imagine you getting banned from, like, all the popular worlds, like Great Pug, Black Cat, Void Club. If you were banned from, like, the five top most popular worlds, you probably ban, like, you probably just, like, are removed from, like, half of the player base, like, at that point. Like, you're just stuck yeah. in, like, the shitty worlds that nobody goes to. And, I'd, like, I think that'd be a good thing, too, because I can guarantee you the players and map creators would start banding together and sharing the names of the people doing stuff. Yeah, I agree. And Black then we just, like... 
Yeah, it is like it, it's not like necessarily something that's always good, but at the same time, if this is a community game, then the community should just be able to do what they want with their own stuff. Exactly. I mean, that's how as Gears long as Mod following is following the guidelines. Gears Mod, you know, you own your own server, you pay for it, right? And if someone's bad, you just ban yeah. them. And then if they're known, then you can just tell like other, you know, RP servers or whatever servers that you know. Oh yeah, probably we definitely know. did yeah. that. We we shared bans with a couple of other communities. Yeah. We would uh, like share over IP, like Steam IDs, and you know, pass out the IP bans and stuff. So whenever someone was that problematic and that bad, we'd like always give each other footage. Be like, hey, this is what they're doing. They're going around because it wasn't just like having a Star Wars RP server. People who want to be dickheads obviously hop from server to server. I've done it. I, this is, I mean, it. You know, everyone has their own jolly fun, but when people take it to extremes, you know, shit gets out of hand. Mm -hmm. I agree, 100%. I, I do think that something like that should be implemented in this game. I should be able to... Like, would you... Okay, if you could own your own dedicated server in VR Chat, where, like, I had 30-player limit or whatever I wanted in, whatever, like, in my own world, I own the rights to it, and I had to pay, like, 5 bucks a month or 10 bucks a month for that service, would you do it? And you had full privileges. Like you can ban, oh, you can like, you can admin, you can mod people, whatever the hell you want, just like Gary's mod style. Oh yeah, no, I would I would honestly go back to the same server host and go get it the same exact server box and then just do it again with VR check because I can guarantee you by allowing dedicated server hosts, you could also increase the map population and then that would also help performance. I don't, I don't know. I'm talking on my ass though because I don't know the networking behind the development. Yeah, I'm just assuming I know how things work. I get what you're saying. I, I do think that yeah, um it sorry work. yeah yeah I I feel like it should work and then you know you could control and maybe you could even go as far as like only allow optimized avatars if someone's detected on your server and then has like a shitty ass avatar then it just straight up just doesn't allow them in the room like imagine that yeah that would be it would just give you a message switch to a like more optimized avatar if you try to change it to one that's bad in the world it would just give you another error message you need to switch again yeah I think that'd be Awesome. Speaking of avatars, obviously you you have a new avatar. This is your new OC, the one and only. So tell me about it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I. It's, it's uh well J Jinomu uh, modeled it. Bless Jinomu. She is a saint. True. Uh and and Spats did the character design. I I, I really liked what Spats did. It was a good character design. Uh, I don't really have much to say about it. I just I've been looking for this character to get designed for a while and then i passed all the info along to spence and she nailed it okay there's not really much else that i can say she just nailed it she does a good job and then so did you know she managed to like make 2d 3d perfectly i get you man listen my avatar is literally made from the same person so i know oh yeah oh yeah you ever want to do like rule 34 together i've always wanted to have sex with a talk show host you know what after this show, we can make that happen, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Aww. Yeah, we could, we could. But yeah, I, I liked I liked your design because I feel like a lot of people, obviously, you know, <clears throat> like me, <clears throat> have like you know, go the female route. So I feel like seeing like a male yeah. model is like a lot more eye opening. It's like, oh shit! I actually had a male model made by Genomu actually, <laughs> and then I saw, oh really? Yeah, I had Kenny K Kona you still made. Have it? Yeah, I stole my account. I still have it. Oh, yeah. I don't really see male models around often. Just uh, in this listen, game the I was place. the only one with a beard in this game. Okay, made from scratch too. <laughs> I don't see any beards. Yeah, exactly. I look like a real man. So. Anyway, I think we'll start taking questions in the chat, by the way. We've been going for almost an hour, by the way. So I'll start taking questions right. from the chat. So if anyone has any questions for, uh, you know, Frisky and I, then let us know. Oh, question time. Yes. Do, 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 do. By the way, this is my first time using this set. Usually I use a different set. Like this is, I just literally got this world. So it, it, this interview is, you know. I like it. It, I, I just literally trying to figure out how to do things, but uh, yeah, I have like camera angles and everything, and figuring it out. And I actually have people in the audience. It's just today it was. I do have like, one suggestion. You should put like fake cameras down here so we know where to stare. Yes, that's actually what I just told before we got in here. I told Legends that in my old world I actually have that. So do you see that okay. TV over there? That's where yes. the camera is. You can kind of see it where the camera is. It, okay. it shows us both, and then I can click this. 
That's on me. I'm going to click this. Oh, okay. it's on you. So technically speaking, you know, I can do this. I can go like curtains and then I can do audience. So, uh, yeah, I have all these cameras. Oh, whoa. Pan shot down. Yeah, that's only, I just saw that too. I didn't even realize the thing like that. That looks nice. Ooh, yeah, it's supposed to be when I start the show. But like I said, I just got it like literally five minutes ago. So normally I would probably be using that shot when I start my stream. I'd recommend slower zoom down for it if possible. Make it a little bit slower. All right, so I'll people tell, can I'll, admire the set. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell uh, Legends that. But yeah, I want to make the camera visible. Because then you could actually see where the camera is. I agree on that. Anyway. Um, what is some advice to anyone starting out with creating a world? Learn optimization, please, please. It's it's just there's so many YouTube tutorials out. Just just learn one. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's not hard. Uh, sizing everything to scale. There's always a scale. Make yeah. sure you have it like your avatar or something you're used to dragged in as a reference because otherwise, things are gonna look really really dumb. I've seen a lot of really poorly made worlds. I'm sure you have as well. Everyone has. Absolutely. It Let's close the curtains over there. Oh. Did you hear that? Curtains it's... just closed. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. <laughs> yeah, I can open them. I can close them. I, I, there's a thing that says live. So, like, on the entrance, it'll say live on stream. I can turn that light on and off so people know when they're coming in. Hey, we're live here, bro. Just let, yeah. Um, what, to, what made you start uh, YouTube Frisky? What was your starting game as well? Uh, let's think. Let's think. Uh, dark topic. Uh, depression, obviously. Uh, I was depressed. Hated everything. Kind of just started making videos with some friends at the time because I, I had a friend group. Uh, they they were uh, Robin, Bree. Uh, uh, there was a lot of people back then that weren't really around anymore. But it was, it was mainly it was mainly because of Bree, I'd say. Because they were a YouTuber, and I started hanging out. And, you know, seeing them make the videos made me want to start making them. And obviously, there were, I had inspirations from other content creators that I used to watch when I was younger. There was, like, Hutch. Uh, Hell there yeah. There was Sark, C Nanners, uh, Chill Chaos. Like, they were, like, the old ones from Machinima Respawn. Machinima. Yeah, hell so, yeah, dude. Amen, brother. to watch content throughout, like, when I was starting to make videos, I'd say definitely... Uh, the creatures got me through a good bit, up mm -hmm. until obviously Alex and James left, and then Cowchop. I loved Cowchop. Cow I loved Chop's everything dead. they did there. Yep. It sucks to see it like, eh, you know, you know, shut down and but you know I, they were still good videos, good memories, had a good laugh with them. But overall, I'd say it, it was definitely because of my friends, and then things you know start taking off when people like the videos. You kind of yeah. want to make more. It's actually interesting. Uh, Alex and James actually played VR Chat. Do you know that? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I remember seeing him stream it once. Uh, Alex. Yeah, Alex streamed it quite often actually. Uh, and then James did his own thing. He did like WrestleMania in VR Chat or something. It was kind of funny. But um, anyway, yeah. um, what is uh favorite SCP moment? Favorite SCP moment? Uh, I don't really have a favorite one. When I play that game, I play to troll and to mess with people. Okay. I just like playing in very obscure ways that just I know will infuriate the people that can't talk to me because they're SCPs. Mm hmm I'd say it's just it's whenever I outrun one or do something cheeky. Uh, and I don't really have any specific memories from SCP. I just mm -hmm. know that those are my favorite moments. Can Frisky sing Daddy Issues? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't want to. That's, a, that's, a, that's one of my raps. I don't want to. I don't want to perform that. I'm not. I'm not in rap mode. I don't have. The hey man. To get the ready. This this talk show is gonna have a halftime show when I have it actually functioning. But I'll have people like come out halfway through an interview and like actually perform, and that's what the curtains are for. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, man. This is this is cool dude. This is next level. Yeah. This is, dude, this talk show, this is just the bare minimum, like, having this just function now. This is going to be a lot more. I'm telling you right now, man. 
if you want to come back in like a couple months and like see this thing, it'll be a lot, a lot bigger. You know, have like f- forty people in the audience. We'll have people come out halftime show. Have people like musicians and dancers and all this stuff. I'll be like monologuing. You know, like Jimmy Fallon or whatever. You know. Oh yeah, Jimmy Fallon. Love that guy. Have a yeah, nice man. beard. Yeah, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimball, Conan. Oprah, Ellen DeGeneres, Jay Leno. I heard Ellen's kind of scummy. I mean, it is what it is. I'll join Shirley. Yes, yeah, uh, all the showbiz. Yeah. What happened to uh, Ro- Robin? I. What? What, what happened? I mean, I don't, I don't know, know what about. happened to him. I don't know. I'm p- 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 he still does his. He does videos on like. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't want to say where he does his stuff because I don't know if it's public knowledge or not. Because I think he does have his Twitter linked on it. He, he he's a voice actor. I don't know. He he went off to do his job. Yeah, he, he does voice acting. I don't know. He, he went to do his job. YouTube channel. He does like he, he you know he does voice acting for another channel, but I don't remember the name off the top of my head. But okay. I know I'm pretty sure he's he's doing well. I'm pretty sure he's still alive and well. I haven't spoken to him for like a week or two. <laughs> a week. I thought you said about to say like a year. No, no, it, it hasn't been that long. We still pass the comments every now and then. Okay. I don't know. Listen, these are questions for mostly for you, and you're from your community, okay? Like I don't, I don't understand any of these references. So. Uh, uh, well, I never talk to my community. I kind of just upload videos. Oh <laughs> shit, dude, man! What the hell's wrong with you, man? Maybe it sounds like you should become a Twitch streamer, dude. Then you actually can talk to your community. I tried that, but all they want to talk about is SCP. Even when I'm playing like anime games and stuff, it gets tiring. Oh man, you can you can play SCP. I don't know, stream or like, something. Like I like it, but it's like I don't like it that much that it's 24 seven. Oh okay. You know, no I one likes you. anything that it's 24 seven. True, but I sit here and play VR chat and talk to people, so I guess there's that. <laughs> that is true, yeah. But you take breaks and do other things true and also the interviews about you and we're not always talking about vr chat so there's that as well so see yes i got it i got a made nice. dude i got a made dude i bring on hoover i want and we talk about whatever we want for an hour you know yeah what is uh what is frisky's favorite anime theme game <sighs> It's down to Tales of Berseria and Persona. I don't. I, I think Persona's taking lead. I've been addicted to Persona. I've been playing Persona for like the past. I don't know. I played like this last week, and I think I logged like 50 hours on Persona. I thought I was gonna beat it in one week, and that was dumb. I still haven't beat it. I think I'm like halfway. I don't know. It's a really good game. It's it's Persona's everything about it's beautiful. It's got a nice levels, nice levels. It's got a you know the sound design is amazing. I love the soundtrack. Mm-hmm. And the effects. The effects are great, too. Because they kind of mix anime with comic, and I, I really like it. It kind of, I think, reminds me of, uh, if you ever played the Sly Cooper series on the yeah. original, like, PlayStations and stuff, it kind of reminds me of, like, a more up-to-date Sly game, because it is about, like, thieving and running around. It's third person. It feels kind of similar with the movement. I kind of like it. A lot. I get you. New Ratchet and Clank coming out, too. Well, I haven't played Ratchet and Clank in years. The last time I touched that was like PlayStation Two, and I don't oh. remember which one it was. Yeah, they have a new character, so that's interesting. Sly Cooper is the OG, though. Yes, he is. I love the old Sly games. I wouldn't mind seeing a more like an updated version of that coming out, but I don't even know what happened to the game studio that did that. I don't know. Persona. Hey, Persona's pretty good. What do you think yeah, about no, Persona 4 just released on PC. Hell so yeah. If you ever like want to actually check it out, it's on PC now. So it's definitely worth checking out. A thousand hour game. You gotta get all the personas, you know? I gotta get all the personas. I gotta romance every single character. Mm-hmm. Don't get caught. Yeah, so I gotta play through each time one by one so I don't get caught. Yeah, you gotta just pick the right option, you know? Exactly. We want the we want the true ending. We don't want no bad endings. Yeah, man. What the hell? Tales of fans. Yeah. 
I appreciate that. And do you have any questions oh, for me? Oh, there's a lot of oh, you. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's okay. Hold on one second. I can handle all of you oh. at once. We have a, f a yes, very sir. fat raid from uh, Skywarp Otaku. Thank you so much. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is my talk show. We're doing an interview with someone frisky, a.k.a. Uh, a YouTuber slash streamer who is most known for uh, playing VR chat way back in the day, doing Never Have I Ever. But more recently, you know, he's more known for doing SCP, Secret Laboratory, and playing anime games, you know? Cool guy. But yes. Filthy weeb. I know. I have a question, Raid. Anyway, as you were saying, I asked you, do you have any questions for me? Also, we're taking questions in the chat, so if anyone of you guys who yeah. just from the uh, Raid have any questions for Frisky and I. Anyway, as you were saying, sorry. Cut you off. How's your day? How's my day, bro? Yeah, it's it's pretty good, man. You know, I, I had a nice nice burger with my family. I drank a beer. It was pretty good. I got my new talk show world that I've literally been waiting for like three or four months for. So obviously, you know, I'm pretty excited. Honestly, I sound very mon monotonous and very monotone, but deep inside, trust me, I, I'm pretty mo ecstatic. So I just, I love the world though. It's definitely a good world. I appreciate that. Yeah, still work in progress. It's just version 3. Oh, version 3. 0 0.3 or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. 0 0.3? Yeah, 0 0.3. A lot more stuff. This version actually has the cameras. So I couldn't use this world for the longest time because it didn't have the cameras. I, I couldn't, you know, there's no camera system. This is an Udon world, right? No, this is just made in no. Blender. It's made from scratch. Every every aspect, everything you no, see. No, I mean like Udon, as in like oh. you have your camera controls and everything. No, this is an old system. This this camera system is like two years old. Oh okay. Yeah, it's like a it's a it's a shader, like a video renderer shader, and then there's a thing next to me in a drawer, and if I put my camera in there, it displays it to this to uh, OBS, and then it takes the camera. It's magic. Ooh, I love. That's nice. That's, a, that's an interesting setup. Yeah, and I have this tablet in front of me, and it changes all the camera angles, and then I can play sound effects, but they're all local. So, yeah. No, it's SDK2. There you go. There's the official answer. All the logic of systems use okay. SD, SDK2 triggers. Your opinion on sharks? Wait, is that frisky? Uh, I love Shark Week. Shark Week. <coughs> uh, Shark Week's great. Sharks used to be my favorite animal as a kid. Is that an animal? What? It's a thing. What's the other word for him? What's the Mammal. fish things? Mammal. <laughs> yeah, the fish thing. I love sushi. It's not a mammal. It's a... They are mammals, yes? I don't know. Listen, man. It's been many years. I'm 25, okay? Like, listen, bro. Like, it's been many years since I've been to high school, okay? Like, it cut us a slack here, you know? I don't remember everything. Does Frisky remember Fun Foxy Run and Gary's Mod? Uh, yeah, it was funny you mentioned Five Nights at Freddy's earlier. That's how kind of how like my channel started off. It was Five Nights at Freddy's stuff and Gary's Mod. And so it was Gary's Mod, but it was just like the only good horror add-ons at the time. So. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember it. I prefer not to. <laughs> but the videos remain up because I will not hide my past unless there's a copyright issue. Yeah, I feel that, man. Listen, bro. I used to be a YouTuber many years ago, like eight years ago. And then all half my videos, I had like 1,300 videos, they all got demonetized and like copyright up the ass because of like, you know, playing GTA 5 and having a radio on or whatever. Basically screwed me over. So I had to restart my whole YouTube uh, channel. Yeah. But it has no subs Actually, on it. I had the same it. exact issue on so. GTA before. <laughs> the radio. Yeah, yeah, the radio. So that's why I like... No one can play the radio if you're streaming or uh, doing YouTube. I remember it was when the game came out. I, I got it for the 360 because, you know, it was only out for the console at first. Yep. And I recorded the end of the game because I beat it, like, really fast. And then I uploaded it onto YouTube. It was just straight the heist. I didn't have a, an account at the time. I didn't do YouTube. I just uploaded it because, you know, I was just kind of uploading videos. And I, I went to work, and I remember checking it, like, after, like, four hours and during my break and saw it had, like, 11,000 views. And I was like, holy shit. Whoa. <laughs> that's, that's fucking amazing. That's wild. I didn't talk or do anything. This is just straight the heist footage. Uh, yeah, and then it got removed, like, 12 hours later because it got a copyright flag for one of the songs on the radio. And I was just like, really? I tried to dispute it. I was like, come on. It was in the game. Can't they just, like, flag the video and that's it? Why do you got to take it down? But they took it down. 
I have something that's similar happened to me. Um, I used to be a Let's Player. I had a really cringy videos. Anyway, my most popular video is private now, but um, it had like 500,000 views on it. And pretty much the, the reason why it has so many views is the worst video I've ever made. And it makes no sense why it has so many views. But it, it was a, I played Fallout 1. Yes, not Fallout 2 or Fallout 3 or New Vegas. I played Fallout 1 Part 1. Like, uh, like that was what it's called. It's called Fallout 1 Part 1. And pretty much it was just me playing the first like 10 minutes of the game. And like half of the video is just like the intro. Of just like war and everything, you know, the whole intro. And then it cuts yeah. to me and it's like, hey guys, welcome to me, let's play. <laughs> We're playing Fallout 1. <laughs> and I'll just kill, like killing rats or whatever. And the video got uh, demonetized because it played the the intro song, which is like uh, whatever the song it is. It's obviously I don't own the rights to it. But that video went on to have like 500,000 views on it and it has like 4,000 comments and shit. But here's the worst part because it was such a shitty video. And it got so many views. Everyone in the comments shits on me. They're like, dude, this guy can't even comment. This guy is fucking annoying. Why is he talking? Dude, <laughs> like, they're like, this so, like, they're super toxic. They're like, dude, this is the worst video oh, I've ever God. watched, but it had so many views on it. Yeah. I, I definitely, I tried Let's Play for a bit before I did do YouTube. This is like a good few months before I actually, like, sat down and hunkered down on a channel. I did Minecraft stuff, and God, it was. I did like two of them. They were really bad. I hate it. It was like probably like seven, eight years ago. Yeah. I think it was. I don't, I don't like it. I, I did like the stereotypical intros. I could still do it. It's like it's for the what? Hello, guys. Welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play. We're going to be taking off from episode one today. We're going to be starting off in a new world today. We're going to first off, we need to get a home built. We need to get some wood. And we need to drop down that crafting bench whenever we need it. You know what I mean? Today, we're going to be. Oh, fuck. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. That fake energy, I can't. It's too much. Yeah, anyway, yeah, that that was uh that was interesting. But um yeah, I I mean it's it's something to look back on though, obviously. Like uh nowadays I just want to do my talk show on, on Twitch and I'm gonna export like the highlights and stuff to YouTube and see where it goes. Yeah. Do you have any uh advice for anyone out there who wants to start like content creation into YouTube or Twitch or making maps or anything? Just anything in general that has um, to do with content. Well, I can go for content perspective now that this is a monetary position or not. Like if you're going for a job perspective and you're like already been doing YouTube, uh, the algorithm likes 10 minute videos. Uh, that's just pretty much the base of it. Uh, when I started doing YouTube, that was kind of like what I liked nailing. I liked hitting around the 10 minute mark and this was before mid-roll ads were a thing and everything. And I, I'm going to be honest, I kind of got lucky because the system played into it. Mm -hmm. Because that's what majority of the people like. They like 10 minutes, short and sweet, and then they can hop on to the next. I'm, I'm the same, honestly. I don't like watching videos over 10 minutes, but if it's around 10 minutes, it's like, that's a sweet mark for me because it's like just 10 minutes of my time. Cool. Uh, but at the same time, you make whatever you want to make. If you enjoy it, you don't have, really have to keep the time restrictions. Because some content creators that do it, it leave stale content, it flusters it out. I've, I've definitely done it before on an SCP video or two, and I, I can tell where it feels dead, and I don't like make those videos anymore. I really don't. I, it's like whenever someone clicks into my channel and watches, I'm like, damn, what if that's the video that they watch first, and that's their impression of me? That's just kind of garbage. I agree, Sam. But definitely stick stick true to whatever you enjoy. Don't let it burn out and pace yourself because if you do it too much, you're gonna burn out. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I burnt out when I actually did the YouTube first time because I would just keep playing Gary's mod for years. Yeah. And uh, that's what I did. I did Gary's mod a lot. Yeah, and just got tired of it, and I felt like I was being forced to like make videos, and like I just got bored of it, and I just stopped, and I quit. And then I just focus on real life. I went to college, got a degree. Still in college for another degree, but like, and then I just you know VR chat, VR chat, <laughs> yeah, bro. And then uh, VR chat came around in December of 2017 is when I started, just before going to Knuckles, and uh, here I am two and a half years later, doing a talk show. So I enjoy what I do. It's wild. Yeah, it's yeah okay. and that's all that matters is just make sure yeah. at the core you enjoy what you do because the moment you don't, it's not going to be enjoyable anymore. It's not going to be fun content. You're not going to be able to like keep going because being a content creator, you do have to have a creative mindset. You do. And you will eventually run out of thoughts. That is a thing. If you keep creating things through like 
for example, uh, you, you mentioned the mapping. Yeah, for mapping, if I sit there and use the same library over and over again, eventually I can't make anything new with it. Like with my assets, I have to get new stuff, rotate it in, get new things, because mm -hmm. otherwise it'll get stale. I'll run out of ideas. And it's the same The same goes for YouTube content creation and making videos. If you keep sitting there with the same supplies over and over again, you're going to run out of ideas. It's not going to be funny anymore. It's going to feel dragged out. It's going to feel forced. And some you might fool some people, but will you really be self-satisfied? Yeah. I, I agree 100%, man. That's how, that's how I got burnt out. But uh, I do feel like that what I'm doing now is... Uh, well, this is, this is a whole new set. So, like, this is... Yeah, this, this looks beautiful, though. And I want to tell you something. This is not actually gonna, just going to be, um, like, just just a talk show, just me doing interviews. It's going to be multiple things. Like, uh, in, yeah, in the future. you have, like, your uh, curtains. Yes. Like, like, you have a whole stage over here. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to have, like, well, I don't have a camera for I guess I can, uh, the curtains camera. Yeah. But, like, um... So, like, I, I can extend out, like, this, like, catwalk here and have, like, a talent show or something and have, like, judges and, like, I can do, like, whose line is it anyway? I could do, I don't just think of, like, game any game show. Yeah. Yeah. Family Feud and VR Chat. I could do, um, who else could I do? I don't, I could do, like, Dr. Phil where instead of, like, having a desk, it's just two chairs and we just talk about whatever. Um, I don't know. What else could I do? I could do, like, uh, Shark Tank or what's, what's it called? Dragon's Den? Um, I think it. I think it's Shark Tank. Is, is that the one where you like the invention ideas or whatever? Yeah, I, I knew could, that one. Shark yeah, Tank. yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do something like that where it's um basically, um you know how people come out and like I don't know try and like sell something. It'd just be kind of funny and just like make up random shit. Another idea I had yeah. was um, improv night, like just having people improv, just get up here and just like ooh that'd be fun. Just get a stage. Just improv have like and actually have audience like in engagement too like i'll have like the audience engage in some way so like maybe they can vote on something or ask questions and things like that and setting up a whole system here like you, you, this is the future man like uh, i'm basically changing vr chat right like i feel like a lot of people who play vr chat nothing wrong with it but i feel like a lot of people just sort of in a streamer lobby and they just sort of talk to like either their audience or their other streamers and that's kind of it i feel like yeah it, that's like the majority of the content and if they want to do that it's fine but i want to do something different hence my name that one rebel so i want to do something a little different here and i'm running my own show and it's going to be multiple shows and multiple different things going on it's a whole regular organized event so i want to prove that vr chat and vr in general is not just I'm going to talk to you for two hours. It's going to be like different things and different organized events. So, yeah. Yeah, that, I think that's going to be cool and fun. Because honestly, like the, those kind of events don't really take place much anymore. I, I remember back in the day, I'm saying back in the day, VR chat boomer. Yeah, same. Uh, the, the light RP and all the lobbies. Like we just hop lobby to lobby and everyone just be in light RP mode. This is nice. Yeah. Like you'd roll up to the pug, someone would be tending the drinks already. There'd be someone at the beginning saying, hi, welcome to Chili's. And you're just, you're ready to be seated. Uh, what, what got your name? Frisky Hyena. That was the uh, that was the name I first started with. Um, I used to I used to play Call of Duty with a bunch of friends, and the team name we went by was Frisky. We were Team Frisky, and we all we all had different names. There was like Frisky Elephant. There was a Frisky Leopard. There was Frisky Fuzzy. There was Frisky. Uh, fuck, I don't remember all of their names because it was a while ago. But mine was Hyena. I used to I kind of used to cackle like a hyena. I mean, it's, when we were younger, a lot of people do. A lot of kids do when you're sitting here playing your games, screaming your ass off. Okay. Uh, and I, this is like years ago. I'm talking like 2009, 2008. I remember I sat with that name for about a year or two, and then I got a message one day in a COD lobby, and somebody asked if I was a furry, and I asked what was that, and they said Google it, and then I decided to change my name because I had like nothing against <laughs> them. I'm just not. I don't want to be mislabeled. Okay. But everyone else kind of stopped using the Frisky name, so I just kind of dropped the hyena and just stuck with Frisky because all the other guys moved on. Yeah, someone Frisky. No, oh, that's just the Twitch name. I, it's just frisky. I can't get frisky. Oh, you wait. You're partnered, right? You can if you're partnered, you can claim names. You know that, right? Uh, I don't know how that works. 
You gotta talk to your dude. I don't stream too often because I'm still on break from everything. I just managed to squeeze my work in through like YouTube. I still try to get a video out every now and then through the schedule. If you uh, if you talk to your partner manager, you could you could get a, you get the hook up. Yes, I have a partner manager. Yes. Yeah, yes, that's what they're for. I forgot which one that is. I oh, forgot who it is. Shit, I well. remember they reached out to me and I met them at TwitchCon and I forgot who they are. Well, shit. Anyway, the point is how I yes. know oh, know this is because a lot of VR chat people have like VR in their name and they drop the VR part. And I was like, how do they do that? And they said, well, it's because I talk to my partnership manager because I'm partnered. And I'm like, oh. So, for example, I'm I actually. Well, myself to Frisky VR. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, for me, um, I always wanted the name just Rebel, like R E B L. No one has it. No one can claim it yeah. either. But I was instructed and told that if I ever got a partner, which I did apply for, um, that I could actually claim the name just Rebel on Twitch. So. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, and then because everyone calls me Rebel anyway, right? Like no one says, "Hey, that one Rebel." They always just say, "Hey, Rebel." So like, it makes sense. So that's how people have like names like Ninja or Shroud. It's because they're partnered, and you can claim yeah. very unique names. So. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll take like one or two more questions, and we'll wrap it up here. So, anybody else have any questions? This includes you, Frisky, as well. If you have any questions for me, you said, uh, "How was your day?" Uh, uh, that was your one question. Uh, questions, questions. I think I'm prepared with questions. Shit. <laughs> How's the talk show been going? How, you, you've been doing this for a while, you said, yeah? Yeah, I've been doing this for since September of 2019. So I've done like 165 or something interviews. That's a recount. Um, Dang, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah, I've, I've, well, at one point in time, I did like interviews every day for like 40 days. That was like crazy. But I, I, I take that breaks. That's like a lot. <laughs> yeah, man. This is an interview. I also do podcasts as well. That's why there's multiple chairs over there. So I could also do podcasts and have more broader subjects and more like or specific subjects about s certain things. But um, yeah, I've uh, I've done a lot. It's uh, it's, it's what I enjoy to do. It took me two years to figure out what I really wanted to do, and that's doing a talk show. For the first two years of streaming VR chat, yeah. I would just I I I just randomly just start streaming and just go to worlds, and that was it. Like. I, but ever since that I started doing a talk show, I've um, just fell in love with it. I love what I do. And literally, you're the first person that's ever been on this new world. I just got it. I like it. First dibs. Yeah, the old world. I got here before the corona could. <laughs> the first, uh, the, the world I use, I've been using for nine months, and I made it in like one day. It's just it's very simple set. Oh, it's dang. like it's like two chairs and like a backdrop kind of like this. It doesn't have the audience. It just has like this part, like just the set, like just this little cubby yeah, corner. Yeah, all perspective. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, this is all made from scratch, hundred percent. So I actually legally own this plus my avatar. And I think that's very rare nice. in VR chat. So. Yeah, uh, I see a lot of the MMD bases. I. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the V. Well, yeah, we bring it up the VTubers, the V, the VR chat VTubers. Oh yeah. I do lurk on Twitch still. I do lurk under the VR chat section because I see a lot of interesting characters there. In the all the MMD based VTubers, quote unquote VTubers. Um, one I, I do want to point out that VTuber is a YouTube term. Using that on Twitch is wrong. You are mislabeling yourself. It, it would technically, I feel, be a virtual streamer. I'm not sure. I could just be being anal about it, but. I'm like 98% sure that's a YouTuber term because it's YouTuber, VTuber. I feel like it's like pretty standard. Damn, and then, you know, everyone out. with their MMD bases labeling themselves like yeah, that they're like VTubers or whatever. Um, that's not legal. You're using MMD bases. That ain't legal. I'm just saying. That's true. A lot of people. And with all the DMCA stuff going on in the world, it, a lot of people need to clean up their shit. <laughs> that's true. Very true. I, I do feel I do agree on that part with like the whole um, using MMD and TDA bases and just calling it like oh this is my model by the way like I'm totally a VTuber what's up guys like uh, you know I feel like if you're going to become a virtual streamer or VTuber what do you want to call yourself or classify yourself as make sure that you legally own the rights to it first off yeah so and then you can do what you want and then either you know you get suva and get to a bi tracker or you do the other method do you ever done any of that stuff like, have you done like v tubing v streamer stuff before um not necessarily 
as a whole, I don't really fall under the VTuber stuff. I'm more of a just a content creator as a whole. The What I like to do is put on characters and display, like, different emotions to the characters. Like, I do it in VRChat. It doesn't really... I do it! Do oh, Jesus. Just here. do it! I do plan it! on returning to VRChat Yesterday, content. You said that's, tomorrow. Like, obviously so just... Better. Do it! Uh, Make your I prefer dreams keeping them come the characters true. And keeping acts Nothing up. Like, is this impossible. is just the main branding no, on my channel. What are you waiting for? Model. That's for my main do stuff. It. This is just because uh, I've spent years hopping on it. images. I've never just yes, stuck with can. something. It was time I I've got to hop, chat, have a great night, and Rebel Hope your talk show you know, keeps as a going great for you. For the other characters I do, because I, I did it with the I don't I don't know if you saw it because it's it's one of my videos I did. I did a girls with daddy issues. I made a song. Uh, that was that was a character I did. I used uh, I took this uh, a Somali forest girl avatar that I found on I think it was CG Trader that had uh, commercial rights to it, mm -hmm. and then I retextured it and then yes, and then I used it and I just I did just play this as a character. I just play the overly innocent tone and then I just like I play I say really dumb things like you know uh, I was abused a lot as a kid. Okay, uh, that's not a joke. I'm just stating that mentally. I'm not that. Okay, I get you. Girls with daddy issues. Yeah, I also saw you made that video, yeah. the like MMD video. If you're an OC, that was pretty dope. Oh no, that was Unity. Oh, that was Unity. Yeah, I use Unity for everything. Man, she learned MMD, bro. I learned recently. Whew. That's, that shit's like. I, I don't know how I feel about MMD. I, I like Unity as a whole because I already know how to use it. The level design's easy. I don't know how I'd be able to transfer that over to MMD that well. Because it's. Uh, I use animation add ons too when I do stuff. Uh, obviously, the video I kind of did haphazardly and kept it very simple. I was trying to take advantage of the 60 FPS and YouTube's bitrate to make, keep it smooth and mm -hmm. simple. But it looking like pra that was just more over practice for animation. That song itself was practice for me to see musically how far I can go and unity, how much I can utilize it to make my own video. That was just, I was pretty much trying to one man team it. The only thing I didn't do there was make the bass beat. Okay, I think it was fun. it was interesting I though. Lot... Yeah, I think a lot of people sleep on unity music videos. You know, did you upload it to TikTok? Uh, no. Uh, wait, the song, yes. I don't know how TikTok works, so I haven't done anything TikTok. I definitely have, like, portions of the song I could cut out and edit it down because, like, it's funny and stuff. I could throw it I'll up. tell you I something. I don't know how the algorithm works. I don't know how any of that shit works. My friend literally uploaded, an MMD, like, a five-second MMD video of their character, like, the, like doing, like, like, hand gestures or something. Like, some music was playing. It, it, she got 4,000 followers and, like, 10,000 views in less than... 24 hours I've definitely like I, I've thought about it but I just I TikTok's a little zoomer and I I, I hate to say it <laughs> TikTok's one of those few things I just don't get and I've looked I've studied like Twitch algorithms YouTube algorithms I've looked at like you know how things work what performs well with people it's just overall like you know marketing in general on the internet mm -hmm. and I don't get TikTok I just don't get it <laughs> I think Vine dudes just just I didn't zoomers. do Vine either. I, I never touched Vine. Oh, I well. didn't touch any of it's that It's just stuff. Zoomer that memes. Beyond me. There, there's some big TikTokers in VR chat. They have like a million followers. I'm just like, what the hell? I don't know any about the VR chat TikTokers. I know Loren has like definitely dropped a few. I've seen hers. Yeah. That's honestly the only person Pikachu. I've seen. Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, the Pikachu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A million. There's also they make me slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> there's also a pink trollobite. She has like a million too, or or two million or something like that. So, wait, I think I've heard that one. No, wait, no, I've seen her on the VR chat section on Twitch. Yeah, never mind. I, I, I like lurk every now and then and peek who's doing what. Oh yeah, you peeking on me? Yeah, I lurk on people. I lurk. Oh yeah. I never type. I lurk. That's okay. I I encourage that. I do the same thing. The reason why I encourage it because when I uh, when I interviewed Nags, you know Nags, right? Joey Bagels. Yeah. So when I when I interviewed him a long time ago, he'll be coming back again soon because I told him to come on this new show. Anyway, um, basically he told me he likes to lurk in a lot of people's chat. He doesn't like to type because if he types in someone's chat, then the then the whole stream turns into talking to you know what I mean. Like now that all the focus is on him rather than on the streamer. 
It's like, oh my god, he has a check yeah. mark. Oh my god, he's I know who that guy is. That's like the big veer check. You know what I mean? So if he just lurks and never types. I actually disabled the check mark in other people's chats on my account. So if I go oh. to uh, I go to type, it doesn't have it there anymore. Damn. What a nice I guy. I don't like the recognition aspect, and I don't like because I, I did I've had instances before where like I type and someone like immediately try to talk to SCP or something to me, and it's like, and dude, I'm in someone else's chat. Like, be respectful. I'm there for them, not like you. I'm here for the streamer, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen that happen before, where like someone types, and they're a big boy, and they're like, oh my god, uh, uh they're working on the game. Uh, I want to know, uh, you know, like. Whatever. It's yeah, just... it, it comes over that they're just like they they forget that people are people. <laughs> yeah. They think that you know idolization that stuff happens and then they kind of forget. Wait, that's a normal person, not just like a twenty four seven character. Mhm. Mm hey, Nuggies in the chase is frisky. I love you, Nuggies. I love you. This kiss for you. <laughs> yeah, we love you, Nuggies. Whoops. Oh, wait, you can go to the camera. Hold on, you can get real close. I don't know how. I don't know where the camera is. I'm gonna find it. Uh, well, your it's head's cut me. off. I can't see it. Yeah. Nuggies, I want you to imagine that you could, this could be your head resting on my chest right now. Right there, that chest right there. There's a giant in the background. I saw someone in the background. It's kind of spooky. Yeah. You see that there's a giant VR chat sign right there, dude? Fucking Hollywood, dude. You see that shit? VR chat. We're in Bollywood. Yeah, we're in VR chat wood. I don't think uh, the stream can really see that. Yeah, they can't. Shit. Oh, I saw that. Listen, I saw you, Pixel. There is someone here. Well. They're, they're coming to murder you. Just so you know. Oh, about fucking time I'm ready for this. I've been waiting so long. <laughs> That's so nice of you. I'm a giver too. Hey. Step on my throat. Gotta eat all go. the breads gifted a yeah, tier yeah, one set to Nuggies. We'll wrap they it up here. We have given 15 gift subs in the channel. You know, thanks for the gifted sub. I appreciate that. Anyway, um, we'll wrap it up here. So um, I'll put the camera on you, which it already is. And um, any any final statements? Anything you want to say or add? Follow your dreams. Follow them. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. Uh, I don't, I don't really have anything to say. Okay, man, uh, I'll, I'll do it for you. Uh, it was a fun, it was a fun <laughs> interview. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I didn't say that to you. <laughs> yeah, well, I meant like, okay, okay. Well, I'll give an example. A lot of times when when I put the camera on them for like the end, I'll be like, hey, tell people who you are. Like, oh, hey, I'm someone frisky. I'm a YouTuber. I've, you know, if you want to check out my videos, a hey, new video coming out tomorrow. Hey, I got a new project coming on. A hey, sneak peek. Winky winky, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Patreon, whatever you got going on. All right. Um, please subscribe to my OnlyFans, onlyfans.com uh, slash uh, someone. Was it someone frisky or frisky hyena? Um, yeah, uh, subscribe. Uh, no, don't subscribe. I don't do that weird shit. Uh, yeah, I'm frisky. I, I make YouTube videos. Uh, I, I rarely stream anime games on Twitch whenever I feel like I'm, I'm getting addicted, but then I'll stop streaming it afterwards because I get addicted and go into social recession where I have to sit there for 30 hours straight and play the anime game. Uh, okay. Yeah, it was, it was fun coming out here today. It was fun uh, It was fun talking to you. It was fun, uh, I guess, talking to everyone that was uh, that's like watching. Yeah. It was a good time. It was a good talk. I haven't like gotten on and like you know hung out and actually had a genuine conversation here for a while. So was, this is good. This is refreshing. Listen, man, I suggest getting on Fridays. Oh shit! I would get, get a lot of alcohol there. Yeah, you don't have to drink. You can smoke instead. <laughs> Got him. I do, but I, I get socially awkward when I get to a certain point. Oh well. Like, it's, it's like one of those introverted, extrovert things. I get waves of energy, and then I'll go into social recession. I get you. I understand. Anyway, I'll wrap it up. 
<clears throat> so welcome, you know. Thank you everybody for um, you know coming here for this interview. Obviously, this is the new set, so obviously I'm a bit scuffed today because I just literally got this world. So I'm trying to figure things out, but uh, maybe tomorrow or, or the following week we should have a lot more uh, you know polished world, polished setup and everything. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And the new set is this what the whole goal was? You know, from four months ago, I, I set this goal up, and here we are with this brand new set and everything. And thank you everybody for coming by and being a part of this journey. And again, thank you to someone frisky for coming on, being the first guest for this new talk show world. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much. And um, I'll really see. I really enjoy being your first. Oh yeah, me too. <clears throat> oh man, getting a little hotter than the color here. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming by. If you haven't already, you know, hit that follow button. Hey, it's down below, up, down. I don't know where it is. Twitch updated. But, hey, hit that follow button if you haven't already. Hey, join my Discord. Hey, that's where you get to know where I get to talk to me and also know where the next interviews are and stuff like that. And uh, head up my YouTube channel, Late Night of Rebel. And uh, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Um, do you have anyone you want to, like, raid or host? I'll toss them. Oh no, no, I, I'm not. I'm not. 